Hey, this is Jack with Two Brothers Adventures. We're out shooting today, and we thought we'd give you a look at some of the equipment we brought out with us. So what you see here is my AR-15 chambered in 7.62x39, and my daughter's AR-15 chambered in 7.62x39. And what I want to point out, though, is that we both have the uh, primary arms micro red dot on these, and we I got the first one and put it on my daughter's rifle, and we liked it so much, and I liked it so much, that I bought one and put it on my rifle. Now this is just the um, the lower model one. This is the $89 one off of the primary arm site. And then you have to get a riser because uh, we wanted to absolutely co-witness it with the uh, Magpul Embus sights. So we had to get the riser and I think it's like $15, $20 to add on. One thing I wanted to mention on these because I struggled with it just a little bit when we first got these and we're installing them is it comes with a riser already. Uh, there's four screws that go through the bottom. Uh, probably too hard for you to see down in there. There's four screws and you have to take those off to put this riser on. Now once you remove the screws they put a little dollop of like a, some type of a rubber um, adhesive or something in there and you need to really pry that apart. So once you remove those four screws pry that apart. Don't be afraid it'll just come right off. And then the other thing you'll need to do is when you put this riser on you'll need to make sure that you clean all of that um, other rubbery stuff off of there and get that down there and then really seat this um, good with those screws. You're going to have to really make sure it's tight. Make sure you wiggle the base from the side itself and make sure that there's no wiggle in between those. What I had to do is I had to basically like when you do the lugs on a car, start at one, go to the opposite side, go this one, go back to this one and then start over again. This one, this one, this one, this one and go down, 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 down and keep checking it until you get it really tight. That was the only frustrating thing to me but once that I once I did that and got it really tight got it on the rifle, um, I have had no problems with this holding zero on either one of our rifles. Like I say these are 762 by 39s so they have a little bit more recoil than like a 223 or some of your lighter calibers. Um, I highly recommend these red dots. They're not the you know the highest thing out there on the market but they seem to really work fine. They have 10 or 11 uh, dot adjustment levels. 1 through 4 is basically night vision compatible and then when you get out on a nice sunny day like this 5 or 6 work great and then you can move on up. Just dials right there. Your battery is also in here. You have your adjustments here. It comes with a nice little rubber um, case there. Alright, so I'm going to do my best to show you the dot there. Um, I hope you can see that. So that is the dot. It goes 1 through 11. And 1 through 4 are very light for night vision compatible purposes. And I typically, just out on a nice sunny weekend when I'm shooting, I run mine on about a 5 or a 6 and have no problems whatsoever. So, there you go. So anyways, if you're looking for a, a red dot, especially a cheap one, you're just looking to get into the red dot market, or you just want to try something out, I highly recommend the Primary Arms Micro Dot.